we're in the middle of a political crisis. Few would disagree with that. Donald Trump has ascended to the highest office in the land. We have people at Standing Rock protesting continued environmental degradation. We have black lives being taken in the street. We have mass incarceration. And that's just the stuff that's on the surface. If you go deeper, you see uh, even though jobs are coming back, the distance between the wealthy and the poor is growing. And when we look at it, the heart, the beating pulse of our society, you see that we're not just having a political crisis, we're having a spiritual one. And in some ways, this is obvious. 81% of white evangelicals voted for Donald Trump. In some ways, that isn't surprising. But it's still at least a sign of something really bad, that the worst things we see in our society have at their core uh, some sort of twisted Christian ideology. And as someone who has devoted his life to Jesus Christ, that really pisses me off. But there's other signs of this spiritual crisis. Uh, <laughs> people feel alienated. Uh, people feel uh, at war with their bodies. Uh, people feel disconnected from each other. People feel afraid. And to me, when I look at the, the message of Jesus and see the hope and the radical expression of spiritual vitality and revolutionary politics, and I compare that with the society around us, I see at root what we have is a failure of the imagination, of the political imagination, of the spiritual imagination, of the prophetic imagination. What we need in our time are people who are equipped to speak prophetically, but even more than that, act prophetically in such a way that we can not only challenge the system, challenge empire, but explore and develop new ways of human flourishing. And so that's why we've launched a new nonprofit, the Center for Prophetic Imagination. The Center for Prophetic Imagination, or CPI, is growing out of nearly 15 years of experiments that I and my family and some of my friends have done living in radical intentional community, doing hospitality with uh, people coming off the streets, doing actions, doing uh, spiritual teachings and trainings and, and all kinds of stuff. And we've got to this point where we realize what we need to do is find new ways of equipping people. It isn't enough just to give content and hope it trickles down like some sort of perverse theological uh, Reaganomics. Giving people radical ideas and telling them to go protest isn't enough. We need deeper ways of formation. And that's what the Center for Prophetic Imagination is doing. If you're intrigued by that at all, Please follow the link below, take a look, and if you're so compelled, please give. 